Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty excited to make this video because I know that not only is this video going to help a ton of people, but it's also going to increase the competitivity of all the players of Rogue Demon. So basically, everybody in general, I believe, will get slightly better after watching this video. And these are some tips, tricks, and things everybody needs to learn while playing Rogue Demon when playing Rogue Demon. The first thing all of you need to understand is you need to learn these uh, three or two fundamentals. You need to learn iframes, hyper armor, and cancelable. Iframes, hyper armor, and cancelable. Those are the first things we're gonna go through. So, what you need to understand, okay. So, iframes. Iframes essentially makes you invulnerable. You cannot take damage while the iframes are active. A prime example of that is musical combo, okay? It gives you iframes. You cannot take damage while you're using musical combo. So you have to understand when somebody has their musical combo up, they have iframes available and they could avoid slash dodge slash counter anything given whatever. Now, next move, we're gonna go to string performance M1. Stream Performance M1 is a hyper armor. It doesn't give you iframes because you can still take damage while you use the ability, but it gives hyper armor, meaning that if I got roared while I'm using Stream Performance M1, I'm still gonna be using, like it's not gonna cancel the ability. You see what I'm saying? And then you have cancelables. My bad, I actually cut out. So uh, uh, an example of a cancelable would be arrow ladder. So if somebody arrow ladders you, while you're in the air, right? If they hit you as they hit you with the arrow ladder, it cancels the ability. So that's another thing you need to understand. So once you understand that pretty much every move set has iframes, hyper armor, or is cancelable. For example, another prime example, blood sickles art, right? Rampant rampage is not a hyper armor. It's not a um, iframes ability, it's cancelable. So if somebody's using this and you dash behind them and M1 them, it'll cancel the move in its entirety. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> this is class, this is school. The next thing that everybody needs to understand is move stacking and afro dashing. These two fundamentals are gonna help you maximize your damage output that you're capable of. So you got afro dash move stacks like this. And then you hit them with that you know what i'm saying so that does maximize damage because what you got to understand is your m1s do like what four hits four damage five damage so that's an extra if you're able to move stack every single ability one two three four that's an extra nearly 20 damage that you're going to get in your combo just from that extra m1 that's why it's so important and i see a lot of people use blood rage or their afro dash like this that's not how you want to do it if you want to make it true you're going to want to move stack afro dash it in order to make it perfect you see what i'm saying and that goes for you know sound you could go you could move stack with musical combo let me show you that goes for sound musical combo um all here let me actually yeah so i'll try to show you guys so look one two three four five with the kick ways my oh the cooldown Okay, we set the cooldown to zero, so you guys can actually move stack this for that additional five damage. The, the same goes with thunder, more than ever. The same goes with thunder. Now, I typically suck with the move stack into um, into into Godspeed, but usually want to kick first and let that fly just like that, right into the wall. You can actually M2 and then go for another five which we clearly failed to move stack. And then after the thunderclap, you'd go with the M2, then with the full combo. So that's that's one of the big examples of that. And then sickles would be the big example of Afro dashing, move stacking, Afro dash move stack and things of that nature. Now you can also use these on barrages as well. So if we go to, um, if we gonna go to Gyoko, which is what we're gonna do here, I did it perfectly in a match against Mythic. I was fighting against Mythic, and I did it just perfectly with the Octopus Barrage in order to uh, do it successful. Now listen, here's the thing, not every move stack Afro Dash is the same. Sometimes you need to require, it's like, for example, this, look, he got knocked back too far, which means that you're gonna need to be able to, um, you're gonna need to be able to have your breathing bar up in order to, successfully do it give me a second here it was actually such a it was actually such a play because i've never really uh afro dash move stack that ability all right we're, <laughs> we're trolling 
all right but while we're trying that out what you guys also need to pay attention to is the fact that you can breathe while you are m winning so that's also super important that you're going to need to do because i myself suck at it myself i'm not super perfect at it and by no means would i consider myself the best rogue demon player right now but i'm definitely training and as you guys know i'm making a clan and so i'm definitely going to get a lot better and i do understand all the techs and whatnot to the game in order to uh maximize yourself and your skills and things of that nature so it's super important that you're always um breathing while i'm winning and i could be wrong about this correct me if i'm wrong chat but do you or do you not gain hp faster when your breathing bars up i'm pretty sure your regeneration is faster if you have high breathing so that right there is game changing in itself your regeneration ability and just speaking on this move set this is a very good move set to go into tips and tricks and things of that nature so for example Oct octopus barrage is a cancelable ability it doesn't give you iframes it doesn't give you hyper armor but it, you and you can cancel it now water prison pot this is an iframes ability this gives you iframe so when you're hitting this guy and you go into that ability as while your arm is swinging back with the orb inside your hand you cannot take damage which kind of goes into so anything that's hype uh iframes is basically also hyper armor because it you can't really cancel it um killer fish scales is a very good move because killer fish scales isn't iframes but it's not cancelable but it is it is hyper armor so when you're using this ability you can take damage but it will not stop the ultimate from ultimating like you it's still gonna it's still gonna be affected okay the next tip and tricks we're gonna go this is the very basics everybody should know block bypass now this is with abilities there's multiple versions of block bypass we're actually gonna go through so we're gonna go through move block bypass since there's only really one or two that actually work that way move block bypass we're gonna go through m1 counters and then we're gonna go to normal traditional block bypass okay so we're gonna go through all of these at once so first the traditional is we probably should use the dummy over here that's blocking to show you guys so as y'all can see the dummy is not blocking where is the blocking dummy <laughs> uh, okay I clearly don't know where the blocking dummy is I would assume they're be together um, okay let's just pretend he's blocking let's pretend this guy's blocking so he's blocking we're behind him so listen here's the mistake that i see a lot of block bypasses trying to make they go like this listen you don't want to do that like this is not effective this is not effective this is not what you want to do what you're going to want to do is you want to go completely behind them so look you line up oh we're fighting m1 oh behind him you know what i'm saying that's how you want to do it you want to be perfect with it you want to be perfect another thing is listen let's go to counter m winning it would be better if we had a player here but i it would still it's still gonna work so look actually it may not work we might actually need somebody a uh, test a test player in here but i'll try to explain it to the best of my ability but so we'll go with normal block bypassing so normal block bypassing i see a lot of players they go like this they try to just run behind you that's net that's very rarely going to work unless you're fighting a noob you're going to want to be able to do it in a quick sequence you know what i'm saying you're going to want to be able to and even that that right there was too soon you're actually going to want to wait because if you try to punch while you're dashing it's going to make block bypassing significantly harder you're going to want to dash behind them and within like one fourth of a second give me one second chat okay i'm back so yeah chat uh with block bypassing even you're gonna want to wait one fourth of a second like 250 milliseconds maybe 150 before you actually start punching so you're gonna try to wait and wait that delay to properly block bypass the next thing that you guys are gonna need to learn this is probably one of the biggest is m1 countering so look when you're blocking and you hit someone that's blocking you don't get the hit effect you don't see the punch like you actually punched them you see this like explosion of like gold particles like the clashing must i say that's the effect that you get now what you need to understand chat is as soon as someone hits you and you're blocking and you see that effect depending on your reaction speed you can almost a hundred percent counter m1 them that's i think the biggest thing that people don't know so as soon as you get hit with that spark boom counter m1 them and then you got them in a combo 
So counter M1s, super important. Um, what else is there? I mean, you're gonna obviously, these are basics. Everybody should know the basics. Every, a lot of abilities have M2s, like strength, for example. You have string pull, and then you have the right click, which is like uh, kind of a rag doll. The same with string slash, you have the trap to use your eye basket, and then you have the left click, which is a guard break knockback. Um, you have fake death, which allows you to fake your death. And then you obviously have the M2 version, which is the double punch. So it's important that you guys learn the M2s for everything, it, uh, especially fire breathing. So fire breathing, right? You have fire, you have your M1s, you know, this little teleport move, right? And then you have the M2, which is a guard break, uh, a guard break that allows for a super long ragdoll. Look how, look how long they're on the ground. Okay, not obviously that long, like, pay attention. So that first flick is basically when a player would get up. So super OP, super effective. And another thing you guys need to learn, this is a big one, M1 spacing, chat. You guys need to learn your M1 spacing. Pay attention to this combo. As soon as I do that, I'm going to start spacing. I'm going to try to always stay behind them. Oops, that was a mistake. So what I wanted to do is move stack that, hold on to it, okay, then move on to that. And if you can space out your M1s properly, your blazing sun will come back up making for like a 95% damage old uh, combo. So yeah, guys, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember if you guys need to learn anything else off rip. I would say those are the main things. Um, here's some, I mean, maybe I'll do some tips and tricks um, on how to fight teamers for the next uh, guide video I do, because I have a few techs that I think need to be reminded to the player base, man. Like when you're fighting teamers, bro, you don't always have to fight. You could run away. I mean, I'd rather run so I could live to fight another day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. After this uh, video comes out, I'm probably going to be live streaming super soon doing the scouting tryouts since I didn't upload at all yesterday, which is why I'm double uploading. So if you guys haven't seen the Han Tangu video, go ahead and check that out. It's uh, my last video. But yeah, guys, I just want to say I love you guys so much. Um, we're almost at 70,000 subs. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys for all the support and love. And I couldn't have been able to follow my dreams and, you know, enjoy doing what I do. This is going to get kind of corny, but like I'm 18 years old and I'm able to still play Roblox and have fun and make a living off of it and pay the bills and pay for my food and all that stuff. And I couldn't have done it without you guys enjoying my content. So I love you guys, man. You better say I love you too, or I'm quitting YouTube.